Is it your misfortune and none of my own? Yes, it's I, I owe. Get along, you little doggies. You know that the ferry will be your new home. And now for the thrilling Lightning Jim adventure, Little Lord Bernard. Whitey, 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 wake up! Uh, huh? Oh, uh, it's me, Lightning. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, Lightning! I must have been the most wonderful dream. You ain't got no time for dreams now. Yeah. Oh, just got a letter for the Attorney General. Yeah, that means first. The Everett brothers just held up a bank in Clovis. And I suppose she got orders to get on her trail. We got orders to get on the trail and stay there until we catch them. Oh, me, that looks like it'll be a long time before I get to finish that nice dream I was having. <laughs> And Everett boys ain't taking no rest neither. Well, at this rate, we won't be able to see them if we do catch them. We're going to camp at Buffalo Springs, right on the other side of this hill. They say, now, that's the first good news I heard in two days. Yeah, there's a spring now. See it round that bend? Say, I think there's somebody else making camp there. You think that might be? The Everett boys? Ah, they would make camp right out in the open. And it looks like big portions. We looked at all them pack horses and a pit. Yeah, huh? we'll have to camp there too, Whitey. It's the only water for miles. Good, son of a boy. Good, Hello, stranger. Oh, hello there. Mind if we make camp here? No, I don't think so. We're leaving now anyhow. Uh, fine. Stranger around here, ain't you? Yes, I'm from the East. Brent is my name. Why, are you any relation to James Brent the millionaire? Huh? I am James Brent. Hey, hey, you are you... you. <laughs> uh, that's your little boy, Mr. Brent? Yes, that's Bernard. And... Little boy. I'm 16 years old. <laughs> I'm sorry, son. So you are Bernard? Of course I'm Bernard. Who'd you think I was? Oh, Bernard. Uh, well, I thought maybe you was the king of England. <laughs> are these the new <laughs> servants, Dad? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> does, does, does he look like servants? Well, no. You are a bit untidy. <laughs> like <you> know, <laughs> yes, we United States Marshals. <laughs> oh, cop. Bernard. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't suppose there's much for an officer of the law to do way out here in the West. Oh, we managed to keep busy. So we are after the Everett brothers. No, we just stopped there to get a few hours rest before we go on. Yeah. Oh, uh, by the way, Mr. Brent, which way are you heading? Well, as soon as we get packed, we're going on toward Luna Vista. No, no, we never say you, you can't go there. Uh, just a minute, Whitey. You see, Mr. Brent, uh, to get to Luna Vista, you've got to go through Rifle Canyon. So my guide tells me. And that's a stamping ground for the Everett brothers. So? So, so they are the most genius hombres in the West. Say they'd shoot you at the drop of a hat. Five. Fair enough. Oh, these fellows out West are all the same. They like to make out that things are dangerous around here. You have to excuse Bernard for being so outspoken, Marshal. You see, I teach him to a certain step. You teach him to act like that? Well, I thought he was born that way. <laughs> To tell you the truth, however, I think Bernard is right. We also have hold up men in the East, Marshal. But we know how to treat them. So how do you treat them? Why, we just we just put them in jail, that's all. Boy, nothing to it, eh? Of course, we've got real cops out there. Bernard. Maybe they know how to handle the lot, Lord, but they certainly don't know how to handle the kids. Why, they? Bernard is taught to be uninhibited. And never... What does that mean? <laughs> that means that he does as he pleases. Well, say, no, that's a lucky thing. I ain't un uninhabited <laughs> like that. Why? Because Bernard wouldn't sit down for a week, by golly. Oh, is that so? Uh, 
Uh, well, Miss Brent, uh, you ain't got no authority to stop you from going through Rifle Canyon, but I want to warn you again. That, uh, Thank you very much, Marshal, but we're going. Just as soon as we get those horses packed. Well, uh, where's the rest of your party? The rest? I guess it's all. Bernard, myself, the guide, and a valet. A valet on a camping trip? You don't think we're going to do our own work, do you? No, Bernard. I didn't think so. But uh, what's all that equipment for if there's only four of you? Why, we have tents, a stove, cot, a bathtub, extra blankets, uh, and... A bathtub? Yes, a portable bathtub. We must have our bath every morning. You mean a tent that's a bath every morning? Golly, mister, you must be off for this. Why, you uncouth person, <clears throat> or... Uh, why didn't we be glad to help you break camp, Mr. Brent? Yes, say no like me. We'd Robert, be glad to pay you for your help, Mark. You don't know much about the West, Mr. Brent. Out here, everybody lends a hand whenever they can, and there ain't no talk about pay. Well, I, I'm i sorry. Uh, why do you go help that fellow over yonder? That's please, the valet. He could use help. It's no like you. I go know. ahead, Whitey. Well, all right, I'll go. Now we just oh, put this tent here together, and we can get time. it on this... I say that you, Emma. Yes, you come over here. Are uh, are you the, the valet? Yes, I'm the valet. Well, then I'm supposed to help you. Oh, hey, you must be the new servant. Hey, servant, but tell him what he's to miss people think I'm servant. Well, anyway, pack those blankets all at home. Uh, say, now I don't look like uh, too heavy for you to do. I don't want to get my trousers soiled. Well, I'll... All right, come, come, my man. I'll pay you for your troubles. You will pay me? Yes. I'll give you... I'll give you ten cents. Ten cents? You will give me ten cents? Do you know that I am a deputy United States Marshal? Oh, really? A deputy United States Marshal? Yeah, that's right. Well, in that case, I'll give you twenty-five cents. Why, why, you don't... Why, you don't... Mr. Brent, his son Bernard, with their servant and guide, left immediately for Luna Vista. The two marshals made camp overnight, and the next morning again took to the trail of the outlaws. That evening, far off the road to Luna Vista, they happened upon the camp of the Brents, where everything seems to be in havoc. Whitey, look there. Mr. Brent in his camp. Sure, I think the city, city looks like there's some kind of sofa, too. Yeah, let's get over there. Come on, Tommy. Come on, Come on boy. Come on. I don't see young Bernard around in the Oh, me neither. They off the main road here. Something's wrong. Hello there, Mr. Brent. Hello, Mr. Wally. Oh, kind of woo, boy. Oh, it is. It is. Something wrong? Yeah, it's about time some officers of law came. So we what happened. What happened? We were held up. That's what happened. Held up. Three men wearing black masks. They got away with five hundred dollars. Yeah, Brett, brother. Don't be mean, I think that means you're on the right track. Yeah, as you get so far off the trail, we were lost. But the guy. We fired the guy. Fired the guy? Yes. He talked back to Bernard. The guy talked back to Bernard, so you fired him? Bernard must get the respect due him. Your leg's all bandaged. What's wrong with it? I fell from a horse. I broke my ankle. And that isn't all. Bernard's lost. Bernard left on his horse three hours ago to see if he could find the trail. And he hasn't come back yet. Mm-hmm. You're in a mess here. Lost, robbed, ankle broken, and Bernard lost. Well, what's the difference as long as Bernard gets respect? Now, I want you to find Bernard for me and then take us to Luna Vista. We can't do that. I'll pay you well. You'll never learn, will you, Mr. Brent? Never learn what? That you can buy your way in and out of every place in the world. Marshal, I order you to find my son and lead us back to the ranch. You order me? I have connections in Washington, Marshal. I can see that you lose your job. And further listen more, to me, Mr. Brent. Furthermore, if you don't... Shut up! Oh, good heavens. Sir. Sir. I've never been talked to that way in all my life. Well, it's time somebody started. Now, look here. I'm not going... I said shut up. Oh, look here. You ain't talking to one of your secretaries now. I'll give the orders around here. And I won't... Mr. Mr. Brent, you interrupt me once more and so help me. We'll leave you here to wander around till the vultures start picking on your bones. You mean... You mean we starve? No, oh, no, I don't reckon you'd starve. No, I didn't think so. No, you'd probably die of thirst first. What? Yo, I maybe run into outlaw Indians. Indians? Oh, kill us, kill us. Yo, and there's always the chance of meeting a grizzly. Oh, no, not really. Well, what, uh, what do you want us to do? Well, Jake Emerson's ranch ain't far from here. He'll put you up. I'll give you the directions to get there. Me and Whitey will find the boy and bring him to you there. Go back without my son? 
I with you. All right, then. Find Bernard yourself. No, I never did like the kid anyhow. No, no, no. No, no, no. Wait. I'll do it. I'll do as you say. We'll get you out of here and find your son on one condition. What's that? That you do exactly what I tell you. But I... All right. I agree. Fine. Now, why do you and that valley Jasper go and pack that portable bathtub there? The lightning. You ain't going to. No, I ain't going to take a bath. We're going to rig up that bathtub on two of the horses to carry Mr. Brent to the Emerson Ranch. Hello, all right, Lightning. Come along, Mr. Riley. Uh, where are we going? Have you heard what Lightning said? We're going to take on the bathtub. Uh, have you? I see no reason why I should help you. Well, I got a couple of good reasons. I refuse to take orders from you. But I got something for you. You can be assured that I will most likely report this to did you say you've got something for me? You are something I've been wanting to give you for a long time. Oh? Uh, what is it? Look at Why, that's nothing but your empty hand. Now what? See, I curl up the fingers and know what I got. Why, a fish. That's right. No, what? Close, please. Oh, 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 oh my word. You fucked me. Uh, I did like you know, Mr. Ellis. Help me take on this bat. I'll see that you're almost properly the commander. Oh, could I show you what I got in order? Uh, 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 no, sir. No, sir. Very good, sir. I'll help you. I'll help you, sir. Any trouble? No, no. Everything's under control, Lightning. Me and Mr. Raleigh are going to get along just fine from now on. After Mr. Brent and his servant started back to the Emerson Ranch with explicit directions, the marshal set out to find Bernard. Late that evening, just as dusk was beginning to fall, they sighted him, sitting disconsolately beside his horse. Captain Luke, that's the boy. Where? Oh, yeah, I see. Hello, Bernard! Hello. Come on, buddy, let's get over there. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come now, well, luckily we've found you, Bernard. Well, that's about time you got here. About time, but let's see now. Do you know that we've been looking easy, hard? Buddy, easy, buddy. Well, let's buddy. not waste any time. Bring me back to my father. Your father hurt his leg. We sent him back to the Emerson Ranch. All right, then. Bring me back there. Well, we ain't got time, Bernard. We're on the trail of some outlaws. You'll have to come along with us until we finish the job. Then we'll take you home. I want you to take me back to the ranch immediately. The outlaws can wait. Well, I'm afraid the outlaws seem going to wait. Did any too anxious to see you? You think I'm going to trace around through the woods looking for some crooks? Silly, listen here, you, you, you young whipper snapper, you. We are United States Marshals, not the United States News, mate. Just a second, Whitey. Son, we're after three outlaws, dangerous outlaws. Every day that they're free, there's a danger that some bank might be robbed, some honest man killed. Well. Well, all right. Now, I know you see it the right way. I'm very hungry and tired. Prepare something for me to eat, and then get my bed ready. Lightning, lightning, let me put them all my knee and wheel some change into them. This one. No, Whitey. Bernard, I tell you, ain't no servants. Everybody just pitches in and helps. You mean you want me to work? No, sure, that's the general idea. My father will hear of this. Yeah, I know he's going to get our jobs and all that, but meanwhile, until we get fired, you'll take that axe and get some wood. I will not. All right, then. No work, no eat. You mean that you, are, you mean that you can start in right now a break in yourself for the habit of eating? This fish ain't pretty good, eh, Lightning? Mm -hmm. Have a little more beans, Wiley. <laughs> no, thank you, Ash. Couldn't eat another bite. Mm -hmm. Looks like the last little rest of this food away, huh? You, you're not going to throw that away. Uh, he got it like you into. He stood to me like yeah. Oh, wait, I'll... I'll pay you for that. Mm, Jack might just well throw away now, Wiley. You all. Well, head No, 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 wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait, I'll... I'll, I'll get the firewood. Can Lightning and Whitey successfully trail and capture the outlaws with the added handicap of having with them Bernard Brent, the spoiled youngster? 
In a moment, we will hear part two of the Lightning Jim adventure, Little Lord Bernard. <laughs> And now for part two of the Lightning Jim adventure, Little Lord Bernard. The Lightning the trail is getting boy. Right, buddy. Them efforts, boys, is right around here somewhere. My name ain't Jim Whipple. Bernard, all right back there. Oh, he's falling right behind us. He likes to keep himself, that boy, Doc. Yeah, but he's coming around the last couple of days, buddy. Yeah, he don't crumble so much. But I still think he's a brat. Yeah, he's a spoiled brat. No way, I think that boy's got to make him. And he can be plenty ornery. His upbringing, that's what it is. If he'd stay out here on the trail a week, his own father wouldn't know it. Well, then I hope you don't have to stay out here for a week. Hey, let's pull up here for a minute, Waddy. I want to take a good look at this trail. Oh, hello. Good oh, word. Good word. Hold up for a minute, Bernard. I'm going to take a look at the trail. All right. Whoa. Oh, 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 boy. Hey, you begin to handle that horse like a cow hand, Bernard. Do you really think so? Sure do. Been doing right well lately with helping out and all. Maybe later, if we've got some time, I'll give you a few pointers on riding. Will you? How? Oh. oh, I guess when I get back to Dad, he can hire all the riding and such as I want. He's still a brat like this. Mm -hmm. I'm almost giving up myself, like. Dad, what you say we look at that trail? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Bernard, me and White is going to hit the scout about now. You wait for us here. All right. And listen, Bernard, don't make a fire. Them Everett boys is around you, and fire might give us away. All right. Let's go, Whitey. Now, don't forget, Bernard, no fire. <laughs> That's where we left Bernard, right in a little gully there. Yeah, Whitey. As soon as we get him, we're going to get the Everest. Oh, that trail looks plenty hot. Yeah, they don't know we're trailing them. We can just surprise them. There's no reason why not. We can. Like the look. Smoke. The fire there. So that's right where we left Bernard. See, you told Let's that Get over boy. there, Whitey. Come on, come down. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Something must be wrong. Bernard knows he wasn't to light no fire. Maybe the Everest found the camp. We'll find out in just a second. There's Bernard, alone. Oh, oh, oh. Come in here. Yeah. Bernard, anything wrong? No, nothing's wrong. No, but the, the fire, who lit that? I did. You did. But we told you not to. Well, I was cold. Why, why, why you... did you... Put out that fire, Whitey. But like, can I tell you, he needs it so good to spend. All right, I'll put it out. Bernard, can't you understand that we're on the trail of dangerous outlaws? But if they see the smoke of that fire, it might mean alive. Well, I wasn't going to freeze just because of some old outlaws. You might get much more uncomfortable if them ever go. We got the covered. Oh, All right, boys. We got them up. Ah. Well, thanks a lot for leading us here, Lightning. If we hadn't seen the smoke, we wouldn't have known you was trailing us. Uh, well, don't thank us. Thank little Lord Bernard over there. Maybe now you wish you stayed cold, Bernard. Yeah, I wish he would have stayed in New York where they come from. <laughs> Now we got the marshals and their little mascot <coughs> all trussed up like Thanksgiving turkey. Well, you got us dead to rights. What you gonna do now? What do you think? You hombres ain't fool enough to murder us and get that whole United States government ever? <laughs> None of that. Then what are you gonna do? Nothing. Nothing. That's right. Nothing. We're gonna leave you just the way you are right now and head for the border. You mean leave us here tied up? You catch on quick. Right, mm -hmm. you, you, you dirty sidelinder. You know that we ain't got a chance to get out to have it our hands and legs tight. <laughs> no, ain't that too bad. But we can't help it if you uh, starve to death here, uh, can we? Just no. as much <laughs> as if you put a bullet to it. Yeah, but the law can't prove it. The law is just the 
Now, know. you wanted to know what we was going to do, and I told you. Before we let out, Frank, Bill and me's going to do a little shouting. Yeah, what for? Yeah, we're going to backtrack these lawmen and see if there's any more hombres looking for yeah. us. They said they was alone. Well, since when you think you could trust the lawmen? You stay here and watch them, Frank. We'll be back soon. As soon as we know the coast is clear, we'll pull freight for the border. Yeah, all right, Al. Oh, and Frank. Yeah, Bill? While we're gone, you can make a little coffee. It'll feel good when we get back. All right, all right. You guys always leave the work to me. Yes, here, too, Frank. Yeah. Don't forget that coffee, Frank. Yeah, make coffee. Make a fire. I gotta do everything. Huh? Hey. Here, bub. You can make a fire, can't you? Me? Who'd you think I was talking to? Well, sure, I can make a fire, but not when I'm tied up. Oh, well, well uh, I'll soon fix that. Here, I'll untie you. All right. That's good. Easy now. Bill ties you up like he thinks you're a Samson or... Ow. Uh, 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 now you're untied. Well, what do you want me to do? I told you what I want you to do. Get some wood, make a fire, and put on coffee. Yes, sir. And I'm going to sit right by this tree over here and watch you. Well, you don't Miss think Miss 45 that... will be laying right next to me. <laughs> One false move out of you, and you'll never get to see your pappy again. You got that? Yes, sir. Then get going. Uh, oh, this feels good. <laughs> this ain't such a bad idea. <laughs> Time you learn, Bernard, that you don't... Look. Look at him. Look. He sleeps here. Yeah, it looks like he is. What? Yeah. Do you think maybe we... Call to him, Bernard. I'm not too loud. Just see if he's sleeping. Careful now. Your coffee's ready, mister. Hey, mister, your coffee's ready. Oh, he's sleeping all right. This is our chance. Uh, if only Bernard... What do you want me to do? I'll do it on a time. All right. See if he can untie me. You see, he's so pleasant. Yeah, go ahead. Wait, wait. Bernard... I think you can sleep that gun he's got next to him. All right, Lightning. Let's see you. Stop. We better take a chance with it. Got it. Got the gun, Lightning. I got it. I got it, Lightning. I got it. I'm not If he wakes, hold the gun on it. All right. Hurry up. Hurry up. Oh, he's not so tied off. He's tied. I'm just looking up. Hurry up, Bernard. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Come on. Hey, where's that coffee, boy? Oh, it's... Uh, uh, say, what's going on? Put the gun on him, Bernard. Put hey, your hands in the air or I'll where, shoot. Where'd you get that gun? Hold it on him, Bernard. What? I'll have these ropes off in a second. Oh, Keep you... away from me or I'll oh, fire. Now, uh, Bob, I ain't going to hurt you. Look out, Bernard. He's trying something. I ain't going to try nothing. Except me a phone. Oh, he knocked the gun out of his oh, hand. I can just get these ropes off. Well, you ain't going to, because I'm going to tie you up good right now. Not if I can help it. Call me, you crazy. Get yeah, away, Bernard. Hold oh, no. it for just a second, Bernard. Hold it on me, you. Yeah. I will. I got it. Oh, he knocked the kid off there. Got the ropes off. Well, you won't have him off for long. See about that. There. And there's one for you. And there's one for the kid. Good boy, Jackie. Good, you knocked him. Yeah. He's not cool. Bernard, you all right? Yes. Yes, I'm all right. Take me. You made me miss that. Hoofbeats. They're coming back. The gun. Where's the gun, Bernard? I don't know. He knocked it off into the oh, underbrush. Oh, we ain't got time to look for it now. Yeah, Bernard. Help me prop this hombre up against the tree. Come on. Sure, sure. Yes, sir. Huh. There he is. Yeah. Yeah. No, he looked like he's still here. Now, Bernard, pretend to get in wood. Look for that gun at the same time. If you find it, pass it to me. All right, Dad. Now, Whitey, I'll untie you and, and we'll sit down like you were still tied. Get some wood for the fire. Frank looks like he took it plenty easy. Huh. Then I get off in this horse. Huh? Lucky them law dogs didn't get away. Hey, Bob, what's that you just picked up? Oh, just a piece of wood. Hey, give me a... Hey, Al, I, I, I've got it. It's a gun. Oh, lightning, the gun. Watch. Oh, Frank, 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 Frank,
there's the horse already, Mr. Brand. Uh, that'll be uh, good to go in a minute. Well, thanks a lot for everything you've done, Mr. Emerson. Mm, no, it's quite nothing. But I still think you're foolish to go into that rifle canyon looking for your boy. I waited as long as I could. I've got to go after him. Well, it's like I said, Mr. Brand. If Lightning can't find that boy, a <laughs> whole uh, regiment couldn't. Well, I'm going, nevertheless. And, uh, uh, well, wait, look at well, look at you under that uh, uh, why there's three horsemen. Yes. Why, so there's two marshals, all right. And why there's a youngster with him. Yes. But it isn't Bernard. It must be some kid from here about. Bernard doesn't ride like that. Yeah, looks like I was wrong, after all. Come on, Dad. Bernard. It is Bernard. I knew this. Get him, I knew it. Oh, Bernard, are you all right? Oh, oh. Oh, Dad, I had the swellest time. You're all right, son. You're all right. Oh, sure, I'm all right. The marshal found me, and then the outlaws found us, and then we... Outlaws? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Brett, your son captured the three Everett brothers practically single-handed. Yeah, we left them in pawn in the hoose stall. My hey, son? Outlaws? But how? Oh, I'll tell you all about it, Dad, just as soon as I unsaddle my horse. But Bernard. And, Dad, please don't call me Bernard anymore. Call me... Call me Buck. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, but... Buck. <laughs> but wait... I'll have one of the men unsaddle your horse for you. Oh, no. Dad, it's time you learned that we Westerners always unsaddle our own horses. <laughs> and so ends another thrilling chapter in the lives of those two famous marshals, Lightning Jim Whipple and Whitey Larson. Mm-hmm.